This is Vet Tales, the story of the world's only sailing veterinary clinic. Join us as we explore Mexico, delivering free veterinary care to animals in need. Become a patron to get live updates and other extras, or subscribe to be alerted about new episodes. This is Dr. Shetty on the veterinary boat on Chuffed. Uh, we are looking at making some enrichment toys for some of the animals at Alcora and we thought that some people might like to help so we were thinking on Saturday morning of meeting in uh, the little plaza, the park here in La Cruz. Um, if you're interested we are looking for brown paper bags, cardboard boxes like cereal boxes, magazines, newspapers and unscented toilet rolls or paper towel rolls uh, like the cardboard inserts. Um, you could bring your own scissors we're going to have, try and have some natural twine and palm frongs and some stuff to put inside and they'll be given to the macaws and some of the other animals at Alcora. So if you're interested, we'll uh, be on the net at the end and can give you some more information. But yeah, we're thinking Saturday around 10 a.m. in the plaza to do that. We are going to be making some enrichment toys for raccoons, coates and macaws. Mostly we're going to be working on toys for the macaws right now because they go through them really, really fast. And this is just going to be a little tutorial on how to very quickly make a macaw toy out of things that you can find kind of around the house or around the yard. So I've got toilet roll, a bit of coloured paper. This is a little natural stick. You can use things like popsicle sticks or like the tongue depressors. depressors. These are just some cut up egg cartons, some grasses and some palm frongs a bit of cut up um, magazine and a little bit of dried pasta. So we will begin. So I'm just making the papers into little shapes. Um, so really just to kind of catch the bird's eye and be interesting. So with the um, magazines I'm actually going to put them in like little coils like this and put them inside so that when there's treats hidden in here the birds have to pull these out to get to the treats and then these are going to go on the side as just little decorative pieces that the birds can rip apart. Okay, Be a little careful doing that bit. Make sure you don't stab yourself. Put the stick through like this and then I'm going to put some of my little twirled up um, magazines at the very bottom so that they help hold the treats. And then I'll put one at the top as well. And then that way you can go on top of the treats when they go inside. And then I'm gonna poke some holes to put these in as well. going to poke a hole in these and use a piece of my natural rope here which is actually just grass. And this is all stuff that's safe for them of course to chew up. So they usually won't eat paper they just kind of chew it up into lots of little pieces but um, the cardboard is unscented so it's got no bad chemicals in it and same with the paper and like I said these are just grasses so they're safe grasses for macaws. So I'm going to try to make a little foraging hole like this so that things can go inside of it and the macaws have to kind of get, get their little heads in there. And I just need to make a little hanger for the top of it. And we can use one of our natural ropes. This one is a palm frond leaf. And that can be hung in a cage and we'll put seeds and nuts in here and you could even put some dried fruit 
and things in this one and then we close him down so it's a little bit hidden and basically the idea is that the birds you know pull this out then there's a stick they pull out the treats fall out they get into this they can chew up this dried pasta very safely as long as it's not a ton of it uh, just little bits of dried pasta is fine and then they get to the treats inside and basically the idea is that uh, parrots spend about 80 percent of their day foraging and so in captivity their food's given to them on a plate and it means that they eat in only 5% of their day and then they have 75% of their day to fill that would normally be spent looking for food. So by making their food harder to find, um, we give them more to do and then it means they're much happier birds and they don't get as many behavioural problems and illnesses because they're happy and healthy. We took examples of toys and materials to host a little workshop in the park with the Cruiser Kids. The kids were making great macaw toys and we were filling the box to take out to Alcora Wildlife Rescue Centre. Here's that, we've got coloured paper, rip it up and play with it. It was around this time that the workshop was interrupted. There was a stranded endangered sea turtle in the marina that needed our help. Titi the turtle was floating on the water surface. She was not lifting her head to take breaths very often and we were worried that in her weakened state she could drown, so Jin jumped in to rescue her. We were working with government wildlife agencies throughout Titi's rescue and I was given permission to set her up in a hospital tank in the marina to begin treatment. TT was a female black sea turtle. We were running diagnostics and began treatment for red tide algal toxicity. Thankfully, after five days of treatment, TT was recovered and we were able to prepare for her release. Check out last episode to see the full story. Okay. All right, we just anchored up here where there's not so many houses and villages and cities and things so that we can have some nice clear water to give the bottom a little bit of a scrub. This is a really calm anchorage with the fishing <laughs> boats keep coming by and causing us to do a bit of this action, which isn't much fun when you're down below the keel, but anyway. Mr. Guy, which one is the worst? I think it's just like one that's chapped the right first. Oh, that was a good rhyme. Not uh, I know it's a bit sore, isn't it? Eh? It's a bit sore. Oh, yuck. Stay inside. At least it's wet on the outside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, tap now, Mr. Guy. Oh, Mr. Guy, I know. It's very red. It's very red. What's happening down there? Okay, it's still got the infection. We're going to change. He's been on um, prednisolone, but quite a low dose. So please don't lick that. So I think we're going to have to put him on a higher dose of prednisolone to try and 
get these allergies and inflammation under control. And we're gonna look at getting some, a different brand of eardrops that has some different drugs in it because these ones don't seem to be working so well for him. Poor Mr. Go. So I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed, dude. Oh, so sad. But now I'm happy. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Cat. Who's that? With the big important jobs done, we had a few small things we wanted to take care of in the calmness of the marina. The first job on the list was investigating the loop vent on our lavac the toilet. In the more water we were having flushing problems and all it took was pushing the little plug in one millimetre more and it was fixed. Toilet fun. The next job was also about quality of life. Our bin kept tipping over and emptying trash all over the floor. Another easy fix with one extra screw. Okay. Our tiller has been rubbing into the aluminium, the little bit that holds the autopilot. And we attempted to apply some rubber short term and as you can see it really didn't work. So what we're going to try and do is put a longer bolt in the bottom here in the hope that it will sit on the uh, this metal part of the tiller will sit on that and naturally hold it up. So that's what we're going to try and see if it works. Before I tighten it too much though I'm going to make sure that we can, it's kind of what we want. Seems to have done it. Charles, give me this now. Who knew 10 minute boat jobs sometimes do take 10 minutes? Next episode, we take the toys out to Alcora and take Jim's family out for a sail. Thanks for watching. If you've been enjoying our episodes, consider becoming a monthly patron for extras like live updates and early access to ad-free episodes. Or simply give this video a like, subscribe, and share our channel with your friends. Until then, stay chuffed everybody.